This is the Friends Cotton 8x6 from Hobby, and I bought this yarn with the intention of making a tank top with it. Something that I can wear underneath my little cardigan thing that I made a couple weeks ago. So yeah, I picked this color and I wanted to use the Cotton 8x6 just because it's a little bit thicker than 8x4 but not quite as thick as 8x8. I've already started and this is what I've got so far. To get something that looks like this, you just use half double crochets. It gives it this really nice knitted, almost ribbing-like look, but then the back is just like... The back is kind of a cool texture as well, actually. But yeah, I'll show you guys how I do that stitch a little bit later on. Right now, I want to show you a sketch I made of the tank top. So the idea for this tank top was that I wanted to create something with a little button placket in the front, just so that I could use these cute little buttons I have. I also wanted to try having the stitches going vertically in the bust area and horizontally in the bottom portion of the top and also on the straps. So far this is what I've got. I'm just going to keep crocheting until this fits nicely around here when stretched a little bit because the cotton doesn't have much stretch but it does have a little and I need to take that into account so that the top doesn't just slip right off me. But yeah, that's the idea. So let's get into executing it. So once you've worked your first row of half double crochets into the starting chain, you'll want to turn your work around and then with your hook, yarn over and instead of inserting your hook under the two loops that you get for the stitch here, you want to insert it into the third loop here. So yarn over, pull up a loop, and then finish the half double crochet as you would normally. And again, instead of going into these two loops here, you want to go into this third loop here. And you'll just do that all the way across, and then I'll show you how I do the next row as well. Once you get to the end, I didn't increase here, but just ignore that for now, you're going to go ahead and chain one, and then fold it down so that you can see these loops from the half double crochets you did in the last row. So we're going to be working into these loops this round. So you want to go ahead and yarn over, fold it down, insert your hook, and this can be a bit fiddly, but just be patient. Insert your hook into the back of the half double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through to finish your half double crochet. And then we're going to do it all the way along. You'll see that it starts to push the top of the stitches from the previous row forward like this, which is what gives it that sort of ribbed look. So now that I've shown you guys how to do the stitch, I'm just going to keep working on the bodice portion of this top, making increases where I would like it to go up and decreases where I would like it to go down. I can't really tell you exactly where to make these because it will differ depending on your size. I might write a pattern for this in the future though, so if you would be interested in that, definitely leave a comment down below and I'll try my best to write up a little pattern for you. Such a big character in all the best ways and loves character in all of her design, but since moving here from Ireland with just one suitcase, she's now in a condo that's- Hi guys. So it's been about five days since I last sat and talked to the camera. Things have just been super busy for Oscar and I, and we've been prepping to go away to the UK. Um, packing bags, cleaning our apartment, all sorts of stuff, so yeah, I just haven't really had the time to sit down and crochet the top. I've also been doing this spinning challenge over on Instagram where I'm spinning almost every day, and so that's been taking up a lot of my time. I've been blending up a lot of Rolex and spinning, so yeah, haven't had a lot of time to work on the top, but I do want to get some work done on the top today. So, I'm just going to go out on the balcony, film myself spinning for a little bit, and then when I'm done, I'm going to come back inside and crochet on the couch. Oscar's on his way home as well, so when he comes back, we can just sit and watch some TV, and I can crochet. They're going to think we're some of those guys, and then this is just because we're too lazy to get the remote. <laughs> I got a haircut. Oscar got a haircut. She took a little too much, I think. Because <laughs> I was like uh, making small talk with her. I was telling her about my wife. <laughs> and then I got distracted and then when I looked back I had no hair left. <laughs> Good 
Good morning, guys. So today is the day that we go to Cambridge, and Oscar and I don't really have anything that we need to take care of today. So we're gonna go out and buy some drain cleaner because our drain is blocked, and then we're gonna come back and um, just hang out. I'm probably gonna crochet a little bit. And then at 12, Oscar's mom is coming to pick us up, and we're heading to the airport where we will have lunch and then go to the UK. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. As you can tell, I made it to Cambridge. I'm currently in the hotel room where I'm going to be spending the next one and a half months. And I'm wearing the top. <laughs> this is how much I've gotten done so far. I had a little bit of the like bottom half of the body done, but I ended up unraveling it because you could see the beginning of each round at the front of the top and it wasn't looking super neat. So I decided to go back and get rid of that. But yeah, so right now I've just got this little bra looking thing. It doesn't have any straps. I need to add some straps and that will hold it all up. I've already gone ahead and added on the buttons. I think it looks super cute. Uh, it is gaping a little bit at this buttonhole. I'm not sure what I can do about that. So like I said before, I'm not going to be going through in detail all of the steps I went through to make this top. There's just been a lot going on with the relocation to Cambridge and everything, so I haven't been able to film every step of the way and write down detailed instructions for how I did this. I think for the straps, I'm probably just going to do them in single crochet. I'm going to try working them across here and then sort of connecting them to the little bits in the back. Yeah, for the body, probably just treble crochet, but yeah, we'll see. I think tomorrow, Oscar and I are planning on going into London, so... I'll take you guys along with me there. I want to go to Loop. I've heard that's a really nice store. Lots of pretty yarn. As you can tell, I'm wearing it right now. And this took a lot longer than my crochet projects normally take. I think this one took me almost two weeks to complete. And I think that's just because I was using the same color yarn the entire way through. I was talking about it with Oscar before and I think I've come to the realization that I really shouldn't be making things that are just one color. I think it's just way too boring. I didn't enjoy making this top as much as I would have if I've been using a bunch of different colors and changing it up all the time. So, but with that being said, I do really like the way this top came out. I think it's super cute. I'm gonna insert some photos and videos of the top here as well, just so that you guys can see it a little bit better. I'm not 100% sure about the color either, and maybe that's just because there's no other colors to sort of distract me from this one color. It's all the same shade and I actually changed out the buttons. I felt like there was too much contrast and the buttons were kind of distracting. So I decided to go with these green ones and I think they blend in a little better. A big part of the reason why I wanted to make this was so that I would have something I could wear under this shrug in the summertime because in the winter time I have lots of things I can wear under it but in the summer it gets a little bit hot so I wanted to have something that was a little more, I don't know, breathable. And I do feel like these two look really cute together. I think that's it for this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me while I worked on this top and traveled and did a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry that I haven't been super regular with posting here on YouTube. I've just been feeling a little demotivated recently, so I wanted to try and focus on working on things that I actually want to work on. And um, for a couple of weeks, it wasn't YouTube videos, so I am really sorry about that. 
but I have been posting a lot on Instagram, so if you like, you can go and follow me on Instagram at Jinspun. Like I said earlier in the video, I am doing this thing where I'm spinning and posting a reel about it almost every day, so if that interests you at all, please go check it out. I think that while we're in Cambridge, I'm going to be spinning quite a bit. I'll just work on other projects in between, so I can't say for sure when the next video is going to be, but if you're interested in watching it, please consider liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. And comments are very much appreciated as well. Okay, that's it from me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!